most people have a sometimes a herd mentality, which can, under certain circumstances, develop into a delusion, into delusionary behavior. I mean, you saw herd mentality refers to people in a group or in a company following a leader and agreeing with the leader, similar to certain types of animals. Uh, cattle, sheep, goats, where they'll tend to do whatever the, the leader does, even if it's a bad idea. So if someone has a herd mentality, it means they follow along with the group. So people have crowds and animals have herds. That's correct. And a classical example of following the leader, even if it can be uh, self-destructive, is uh, what lemmings do. Supposedly. Well, supposedly lemon, lemmings uh, will jump off a cliff because uh, the head lemming runs for the cliff and then all the other lemmings, they keep following behind the head lemming. Yeah, and there's also what's called the Pied Piper, which is where a leader might uh, try to bring the crowd to somewhere which is against the interests of the crowd, but yet they still follow the leader anyway. So you might say a lot of people thought Steve Jobs was a Pied Piper, but it turned out that he had a very strong and powerful vision that turned out to be correct. Back in medieval times, there was a children's crusade where a leader tricked children into joining his army and going to the Middle East to liberate the Holy Lands. But most likely he was leading the children off into slavery or it's just an old legend that was not true. For someone who acts uh, if it's against the interest of your own people, of your own group, right? That's correct. It could be a foolish leader or it could be a deceptive leader. Google likes to say that they hire unique individuals, that they try to avoid people who have a herd mentality. One of the complaints about bureaucrats or government in general is that the workers tend to follow a herd mentality and do the same thing that everyone else is doing and do whatever their bosses tell them to do without using much brain power. A wonderful game to play in. I mean, there's almost nothing where the, the game is stacked in your favor, like the stock market. Stacked in your favor means that the game is arranged in a way that you are either going to win or you're very likely to win because of favorable advantages that you might have. And it's not necessarily cheating, right? It just means the conditions are favorable to you for some reason. Might be honest and could be dishonest. It could be either one, yes. It could be that someone has very good qualities, so that stacks in their favor, or someone has certain bad qualities, and that stacks against their favor. And it comes from the game of cards? It comes from cards, yes. If the deck is stacked, it means that the cards are put in a particular order, so that when they're dealt out to all the different people, some people get better cards than other people get. And, and the, the same way in the casino, if there are the crooks operate casino, maybe a long time ago, they would have some kind of magnets that would attract the ball to certain numbers, right? I would say that the game was stacked against you if you are a gambler in this casino. That's right. If there's some, if there's some um, form of cheating by the casino, you could say that they're stacking the odds against you. Metaphorically, 
So oftentimes it's used metaphorically, obviously. So you can say the game. The is game is stacked. A very common expression from some politicians is that uh, the U.S. tries to present itself as uh, having an even playing ground, but in fact the deck is stacked, which means that some people are given advantages that are not given to other people. The, the odds are stacked against me at work because the technology that I'm working on is going out of favor. ESL-fullsteamahead.com <laughs>